welcome to our very short Vata reducing practice tonight. We are just going to do a really simple practice, a way of helping Vata just settle when you don't have a lot of time, but you're feeling a lot of imbalance going on because of Vata season. We just went over all of the Vata food list and the seasons. What happens when you're in that Vata season, which is fall and winter and how to support yourself. So if you have a chance, check out that video. But right now we're gonna do a little bit of Vata reducing practice, starting out on our back and we're in a bridge. So let's go. I don't have my beautiful Tina today. She's taking a class. Okay, so have a blanket, have a block, and you might wanna have a strap close by. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out on our backs. I'm gonna put a lighter mat down so you guys can see me more easily. When I'm wearing dark colors, it's just too hard. Okay. So we're finding our heels and then pushing up into bridge. And then release, draw your knees in, move in a circle, go out and then back in, out and in. And then feet flat on the ground, push up into bridge again. And release down and draw your knees in. And now you're gonna push in and out. Push in and out. Good, and then back into bridge. Then lower the pelvis, lift the upper body and extend your right leg out. Hold it, steady. Release back into bridge, press up. Then lower, extend the left leg and lift your upper body. And bring it back in and lift up into bridge. And lower the pelvis and extend both legs. Go for as long as you can. Steady. And then release. Now you're gonna release and roll to one side. So I'm gonna roll to one side. And you're coming up on the elbow, lift. And then from here, you're gonna actually take the top leg and place it in front and then push up. Okay, so if I'm turned this way, it looks like this. Push up and lift the arm. Okay. Push up and lift. Stabilizing, strong and steady. And then release and we're gonna roll to the other side. Bring your top leg in front and then push and lift up. Lift your arm, hold it, building strength. Then the upper arm is gonna come around and you're gonna come into a crawling position. Drop your belly and then round. Drop your belly and round. So we're doing cat-cow. Holding it in cow, separate your knees a little bit and then rock side to side. Rock side to side.
Good. And then from there, you're going to extend your right leg straight out and hold. And then release and extend your left leg straight out and hold. Good. And then we're going to do both knees shift back and we're holding modified plank. Well, let me just move this so you guys can see a little better. Okay, so you're in a modified plank. Now, if you can do more, come up into full plank. Hold. Drop the left leg, drop to the elbow, bring the leg in, push up. Swing the arm around, come back into a crawling position, Cat cow. Either modifying now into half plank or full plank. Hold. Modify if you need to, it's no problem. We're building strength for Vata. Then you're gonna drop to the other side onto the elbow. I'm dropping onto my right knee. My leg is gonna come in front and extend the bottom leg and reach back up. Push your hips up. Upper arm swings around. And this time we're gonna go into down dog. So press back. Nice, and walk out your heels if you need to. Draw both heels down and get hollow in your belly. Right leg steps in, drop the back knee and lift. And again, you're gonna rock side to side and just kind of open up the pelvis. Rock side to side, and then hold it to one side, rotate, and look behind you. Release, step back, down dog. Now the left leg steps forward, drop the back knee, and lift. And then again, you're going to just shift your hips side to side. You're just trying to gently open up. And then turn towards the front knee, reach back behind you, and look at that thumb. And release, step back, down dog. Right leg steps forward, warrior one, reach up. Keep your hips square. So right hip moves back, left hip goes forward, keep your back heel down. Navel is in and tailbone goes straight down. Then straightening the front leg and fold right over. Hands can go to the shin, they can go to a block or to the ground. Then step back, down dog. Shift forward plank, modify to your knees if you need to and lower. Lift up, cobra. Pause. Press back, down dog. And now your left leg steps forward. Drop your back heel, reach. Hip pulls back on the left side. Right hip forward, tailbone tuck, navel in, reach. Back heel is down and straight bend the front knee, open up. Lift your chest, 
straighten the leg, fold right over the leg. Now your hands can go to the shin, to a block or to the floor. Stepping back down dog. A shift forward plank, modify to the knees if you need to, lower. Lift up cobra. Take it back down dog. Right leg is forward for trikonasana, so triangle pose and you can use a block if you would like. Line up the front heel with the arch of the back leg and then open right up. Torso lines up with the front leg. Straight legs, you guys. Open up that chest, the upper chest, open it up. Swing around, step back down dog. From there, we're gonna step the other leg forward. Drop your back heel, line up the front heel with the arch of the back foot. Block goes to the baby toe side of the foot. Straighten the front leg. Line up the torso with the front leg. Try not to lean forward, really important. Swing the arm around, step back, down dog. Good, and then we're gonna step forward so we can rotate into a wide-legged forward fold. One hand reaching across and opening up. You're rotating. You can use a block here, or you could just keep your hand here next to the foot but a block works out well, gives you a bigger opening, bigger rotation. Switch to the other side and open. And release out of that. We're gonna do a wide-legged forward fold. So toes are either parallel or slightly turned in and drop. You're gonna grab your two big toes, bend those elbows, drop the head, release through the neck. Slow everything down, slow down the breath. Good, and then from there, you're gonna bring your feet together and sit. One leg forward, one leg bent. And I like to sit on a blanket so I get up a little bit and then rotate towards the bent leg. Stack the bent leg knee over the other knee, forward fold. You can use a block here, place it on top of your knee. Or the shin. And then releasing out of that, switching sides. So that leg that was bent now goes straight. The other leg comes up and rotate. Rotate. 
and then stacking that knee on top of the other extended leg and again drop. So if your head is not able to go to the knee, just use a block. Good, and then releasing out of that, we're gonna open up wide-legged. Kneecaps are straight up. So in other words, do not let them turn behind you. Rotate to one side. Relax this inside shoulder. Rotate to the other side. And then dropping to the center and relax. Good, and then from there, we're gonna lift up and take it onto our back for another bridge. So find your heels and lift. And releasing, extend the left leg, right knee comes in or you can extend the leg. Take the leg to the right side, either as a bent knee, or you can extend the leg. Bend the knee, take it across the body. You could keep it as a bent knee, extend your right arm out, or you can extend again, internally rotate the foot. So drop the toes, heel up. And then to open up a little bit through the glutes, take that right heel and ankle, place it on the left knee and lift. Press your sacrum down. Draw the left knee in, the right knee away. Make sure that the bottom of your right foot is lining up with the outside of your left thigh. Keep pressing into your sacrum. Bring some of your lumbar curve back. And then release, extend your right leg, left knee comes in, or you can extend the leg. Take it to the outside, either as a bent knee, right arm goes out, or once again, you can extend. Bring it in, good, take it across the body, either again as a bent knee or once again extending, but I want you to drop the toes and lift your heel. Extend this left arm, you guys. Then taking that left foot, between the ankle and the heel, it goes on top of the right knee, bottom of the foot lines up with the outside of the right knee, then interlace your fingers there at the right hamstring, draw that knee in. Now, if you are a little more flexible, you can grab here just below the kneecap. Press your sacrum down, bring some of your lumbar curve back. And 
And then from there, bring your feet together into Baddha Konasana, release. And then extend your arms up above you. Open up the sacrum. Knees together, press once again into bridge. And then from there, we're going to release and set ourselves up for Shavasana. So extend those legs out to the corners of your mat, arms below the heart, palms up. Cover yourself up with the blanket, put your sweatshirt on, and definitely cover your eyes. Bata needs more Shavasana, longer Shavasana than the other doshas. So you're going to make sure that you get that Shavasana. You do not avoid it during vata season, and also if you're feeling high vata going on in your body. And if you're not really sure what I'm talking about with all these terms, please reach out to me. Once you start understanding them in your body, it really makes life a lot easier. So then she'll, laying down on your back in Shavasana and relax. And making sure your body is rooted, letting your body relax, feeling your body connected to the ground, the earth. Let your breath slow down. Feel all those points of your body that are connected to the floor. And imagine that your body can sink into the floor even more. Just letting go.
All right, then begin to deepen your breath. Allow some movement into your fingers and toes and gently roll to your right side and take a moment there, just rest. And then from there, bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And sitting up comfortably, bring your hands together and connecting your thumbs to your heart. Close your eyes. Drop into stillness, silence. Let the breath slow down. And may you feel at peace within. Namaste.